So Lynette, my answer is uh, it depends. First, you have to understand when you buy a read, what are you buying it for? So for myself, I'm buying it because of the... Well, one of the community members, her name is Lynette, she asked me one question, how to find out the value of calculating, or perhaps calculating the intrinsic value of a read. Uh, actually, I was just now in, in, at the front of uh, Sheraton Towers, but they say it was private property, so I moved over. So, Lynette, my answer is, uh, it depends. First, you have to understand when you buy a REIT, what are you buying it for? So, for myself, I'm buying it because of the use. So, that's why I use a dividend method to come and calculate my intrinsic value. I don't base it on NAV, net asset value. Why? Uh, let's assume that you are the owner of a... Uh, of a, of a hotel, okay, or a building, you rent it out, right? So when you want to sell it off based on the assets to someone else, first thing, first question is that if you, uh, if you are selling it to your, uh, to your friend, would your friend on the business arm length want to buy the building? Undervalued? Overvalued? Or fair price? So if I'm standing at the other side of your uh, transaction, I would buy, I want to buy it undervalued. So whatever you pack it as the NAV, it may not necessarily be what I want to buy, the price that I want to buy. So thus, I never like my REIT managers to hey say, let's uh, sell off this building, then recycle the capital. Even though there are sometimes REIT managers that do that, but uh, that's not my preference because I prefer to uh, have a very steady and uh, steady cash flow. A steady cash flow that a REIT can consistently pay out the dividends. So if I'm owner of a hotel building or any buildings, right, I rather say that okay, I maintain my building in tip top condition, ensure that there's sufficient uh, room for uh, tenants who wants to expand the operations to be able to uh, move around. So my style, my intrinsic value of uh, buying REITs is all more about uh, dividend use. Then of course, yes, I put also put three playlists that I also look at other factors that can affect a read. Uh, it's in the YouTube channel. Uh, just kindly just go and look for reads uh, first R, reads second R, and the reads last R. So when you ask that question, I've made an assumption that you have done point one, the first R and the second R. You have not done so. Kindly go back to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you understand those uh, videos that I place it down there because they're specially curated. It and I hope that it can help you because sometimes in investing yes why well, I want to take uh, take care of all the potential upsides that my portfolio can gain sometimes it's also making sure that I avoid pitfalls or potholes uh, in my reinvestment journey so yep heading to office uh, this is the COVID-19 situation may everyone who's watching this video stay well rest well and stay healthy so see you guys soon oh lastly if you find this video have added some value to you, you find that uh, someone else can uh, gain some value, kindly share this video with them and uh, yep, I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you.